so um, in this video I'll be talking about how to dechlorinate water without using a commercial dechlorinator so a lot of people say that you need to use like those dechlorinators that you buy at pet stores and like so that you can use it in your fish tanks uh, but that's actually not true like a lot of people say that that's your only option but you can also have a far simpler and way cheaper way so all you do is basically you take any reusable container so like you can use gallon containers you could even use buckets you can use small liter bottles like this or um and so what you do you be like most tap water in most areas of the United States and other places the water usually contains chlorine and chloramines which will harm your fish or whatever other pet you have amphibians or yeah so what you basically need to do is just take the water that does contain the tap water and fill up a bottle like this or bigger it doesn't matter the size really it just contains more water and um you basically fill it up and in s the only thing that you do different is that instead you would take this cap so the cap of any bottle really or and you basically uncap it a little so like that a little open so it's like kind of easy to come off but that's the point because um as uh in a couple of days approximately two uh to three days all the chlorine and chloramines and harsh or most harsh chemicals from the water will evaporate through these like through this area through the cap and through that small little gap so therefore this water becomes dechlorinated and a lot of people say this is a myth and if i was just starting off on the like starting off my first fish tank i would kind of agree with them because kind of doesn't make sense but if it was a myth then my tanks all my fish would be dead by now for the last 10 years because this is the only way i've done it i've never used a dechlorinator in my life so this is just proof right here that all of my fish tanks sorry this one's kind of dirty some algae but all my fish tanks are alive and thriving so um if this was a lie then i don't know where they got their um they got their hypothesis from but anyways uh the only bad thing about this method which there really kind of isn't but the only bad things about this is two things or actually three things I might say uh one is that you gotta be kind of a pack rat because you need to store stuff like a squirrel you know how they collect um nuts like food during the winter well you kind of have to be like that collecting like water bottles I know it sounds like sounds like sucks but it's actually pretty good because you probably spend more money on dechlorinators than you do on soda bottles or apple juice bottles or water bottles so basically what I'm trying to say is uh, you'll have to store like a lot of water bottles depending on how many tanks or how big your tanks are like I have three tanks so I store about quite a lot of gallons like I have about 20 gallons uh, worth of dechlorinated water these are just a few of my bottles that I have I have a lot more but I didn't take them all out but um uh, that's one thing wrong with it the second thing is that you have to wait about two to three days but to me that doesn't really matter because you do a water change every week so um, it has plenty of time to dechlorinate uh... third thing is well like while it's dechlorinating it's gonna the water is gonna change temperature to your room temperature or whatever temperature you the bottle is in so like if you have like a real tropical setting uh well it might be a little too cold but you most of the time well most fish that is will be okay with a slight change